Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. Remember, this week you should be thinking of ways to work together with the people around you. Maybe today you can work together with your family to help make dinner. Let's look at our last vocabulary word for the week. The word is ragged. Ragged. My mother thinks my sneakers look too worn out and ragged. Something that is ragged is torn or worn out. The shoes in this picture definitely look old and ragged. How do you think a shoemaker could fix a pair of ragged shoes? Remember, this week we have two sight words, but today we're going to be focusing on this second word. The word is good. Good. You did a good job. Let's start by spelling it together. While we spell, take your finger and practice writing each letter in the air. G O O D. Now, let's practice using it in a sentence. Think of something that you are good at. For example, you might say, I am good at baking. Now it's your turn. Say it out loud. I am good at... Great job. This week in phonics, we have been focusing on the long U sound. Long vowels say their name. So long U makes a sound U. Remember, in order to get that U sound, there is usually a sneaky silent E at the end of a word. Remember, sometimes that U can be a little bit tricky because sometimes it doesn't make a clear U sound. Sometimes it sounds a little bit more like OO. Let's take a look at our story for the week to see if we can find some more long U words. Our story this week is called A Good Time for Luke. When I look at the title, I see our sight word, good, and I also see a long U word. I know this because I see that sneaky silent E at the end. This word, Luke, is one of those words where this U sounds a little bit more like ooh. Let's read the story and see if you can find some more long U words. Luke is five. He can run quick. We like to play with Luke. Set up a date for Luke. Jot Luke a quick note. We can have a good time. We are here for Luke. Deb can set it up, up, up. Tim has a bit of tape to fix a rip. Mike can make a big cake. He can make it in a tin pan. June can use a red tube. I see some more long U words here and here. Look, June can tape it up on top. Luke can take it home. Luke is a fun kid in luck. Who can get Luke? Where can we hide? Luke will like it a lot. Luke can see Deb, Tim, Mike, June, and Kate. Luke can have fun. We have fun with Luke. Nice job, boys and girls. Now, let's practice blending long U words all by ourselves. Just like we've been doing, as the letters fall from the sky, say their sound out loud. Stretch that sound until the next letter falls. After we blend, I'll ask you what word those sounds make. Here we go. U, 
What word? Fuse. Notice how that U and E came down together. That's because this sneaky E makes that U say U. Let's try another one. U B. What word is it? Cube. Nice job. Make sure you're blending out loud with me. T. U B. What word is it? Tube. You. Mm. What word does it make? Fume. Nice job. Let's do a couple more. Mm. You. T. What word is it? Mute. Awesome job. You t what word? Cute. Two more. Mm, you oh, mule. Nice job. R you d what word is it rude this is one of those words where this u doesn't really sound clearly like u it sounds more like ooh the word is rude great job boys and girls now for the last time let's stand up and get some wiggles out and sing our song for the week the shapes through a party Hi everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm Claudio. And you're here to dance with us to the song, The Shapes Through a Party. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Good job, friends. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.